Okay, hey guys, so we are, today is Sunday. I did not vlog at all yesterday. I took a day for me, Friday night. I worked till kind of late, and then instead of coming home, I stayed at work because if I came home, I knew I was not going to edit the vlog. So I stayed at work, edited the vlog. So came home, fell asleep immediately. I was probably asleep by like 9.30, which hello, how old are we? Are we like in grade school? Like I feel like that was like my bedtime when I was in grade school. Wake up the next morning, still kind of beat. I do the description box, put up the vlog, and then I worked out, had some food, and I did my nails. It's this color. I had showed you guys this shade maybe a month ago. I had hauled it from Ulta. It's the Pacifica Nail Polish in the shade Temple. Looks like that. Isn't their packaging so cute? So I guess when you put on one layer, I, this needs two layers, but it's really pretty, isn't it? I mean, I don't know if I could ever wear the shade in the winter because I mean, just the way it like reflects, but it's so gorgeous, like, right? Do we love it? I love it. Okay, I'm getting so close to the camera, back up. Okay, so did my nails and by then it was like maybe noon. And then I just did nothing for the rest of the day. No vlogging, no nothing. I took care of my skin. I did a microdermabrasion with the Derma E. Their microdermabrasion, like really kind of like get that, got that in. I did some Biore pore strips. I put them on my nose and I did them like on my forehead down here. Did that and then, and then I'll, I'll show you guys the skincare what I did yesterday, because that kind of goes in with like the makeup sharing. I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Is this like shaking? Am I shaking the tripod? I'm like moving around a lot. And I have these on like my camera on the, the staircase right now. But I just wanted to share that with you and update you. I'm going to go zhuzh my hair a little bit and then we will share the makeup. So I took care of my skin yesterday. So after the microdermabrasion and the Biore pore strips, I applied the code, what is it? The Neogen Cold 9 Gold Tox Tightening Pack. I showed this to you guys before. It comes in like a really like, I don't know, fancy setup. So you have like a stand, you have a spot for your tweezers, and basically you get another container of liquid and you get all these cotton pads that look like this. And the cotton pads are in the container and then you pour the liquid into the container and then all these pads soak up that essence or the tightening pack. I'll try to find the first video where I talked to you about it because I went more in depth. So basically once it absorbs all of that like essence, you have this cotton pad which, ha which has a pocket and you put your fingers in. There's a very more, there's like an abrasive side and then there's like a cotton paddy side. So you go through and you kind of buff your skin, you buff the product into your skin and then you flip it over and then you press and pat and at that point you will have so much moisture in your skin, it's insane. When you use this product, I think, again, more so results and benefits in the winter because your skin is drier, but like even right now, like just to kind of really refresh my skin, it, when you use a face mask, it's like similar to using a face mask, but I feel like it's even more intense. And I know that a face mask, you leave it on, and you think it would work more, I think this is so much more beneficial and efficient than a face mask because just the product itself is so incredibly hydrating. So being summer, I didn't apply a moisturizer this morning. I just cleansed my face with the Kagendo cleansing water this morning and put the Cosmetics OptiCrystal Liquid Crystal Eye Serum on and then that's it. And then I went to go make coffee, and then I came into the beauty room and I put on the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I have the sample size and I've been really, really loving it. I'm gonna get a full size. On days where I feel like I don't need to apply any moisturizer because it's summer, um, if I know I'm gonna be out and about, I'll definitely apply sunscreen, the cosmetics one I've been showing you. But I like to just apply this instead of a moisturizer. It does such a good job of just prepping your skin for makeup when you don't need a lot of hydration. Also great for setting your makeup. So this is basically what I have on my skin as skincare today. Then I prep my lips with this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I had like a $50 gift card uh, for Sephora, so I kind of picked this up, but what else did I get? I don't remember. But I got this and Fresh just came out with like their version of something like this. Like it's like a lip product in a jar. It's 
looks kind of like caramely colored. It might be caramely scented. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm going to try it. Fresh does such great uh, lip products for like, you know, lip therapy products, I guess. So this, I had been seeing, I have seen this product on like Korean beauty blogs and even just Asian beauty sites for so long, but I've just never picked it up because I don't know, it seemed like, is it gimmicky? Is it just like a lip balm? Also, I had tried the Laneige sleeping pack, like the skincare, and that was just so overly hyped when it came out and I tried it and I was just so unimpressed. I was like, eh, you know, but this stuff is so good. Imagine bubble gum, also strawberry, and that's what it tastes like, smells like. It's so good. I have had it for maybe, I got it sometime this week, so I wanna say maybe like four days. And I have been using it morning and night. It is so good. Your lips will feel so amazing, so awesome. And, excuse me, this is the only lip sleeping mask or lip mask I've tried um, outside of the Agave from Bite Beauty, which I did not really like. Uh, it was good, but it was just like overly sticky and I didn't really like that. So, and I know in the Korean market, there's so many more things that are similar to this that might be even better. So if you know of them, let me know. But this is, I've been really liking this a whole lot. Foundation today is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 in Light Beige. I put it in a cushion and then popped a beauty blender into it. That's how I apply this generally. I don't, it's very rare that I would apply this just on my face with a beauty blender. It is a more full coverage foundation, so I like making it less so, but still getting that coverage with the beauty, with the beauty blender with a cushion <laughs> guys i have not had this much energy in a really long time like yesterday just taking that day for myself and just like I uh, whatever there's other things too and then at work you guys know it's just been crazy just over this past year but especially in the past month because i was covering for a job that i don't typically do and it's incredibly kind of tedious and time consuming and I don't have to do that starting Monday and it was just like this wave of like relief you know how like when you go on vacation not that that was a vacation but you know how when you go on vacation and then you come back and your body just like okay you're home now 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 you'll get sick it was something like that like on Friday it was just like I think I vlogged it not vlogged it thank god but like I told you guys like I was like so kind of sloppy clumsy that morning I was just so exhausted and I fell into my car it's never happened. Like I'm a clumsy person, but I don't usually like things like that don't happen to me. I like I like went into my car like I usually would and I just like fell into it. Like I I mean I got into the car faster, I guess, but there was that and then I think I was like walking up the stairs that day too and like I missed a step and I had to like grab onto the railing. It just it's like stuff like that doesn't really happen to me. Like I must have been just so out of it. Like I wasn't even aware that I was that tired, if that makes any sense. Okay, such a tangent. I didn't even know where I was going with that. Concealer, we have, maybe I'll swatch these. I have NARS Ginger on the face. And then I have the By Terry Terribly Dunstalist Concealer in Medium Peach on the under eyes. I kind of just tried to use, not tried to use, but like I feel like in the past videos, I've just kind of just whatever's been out that's what I've been using or if I was sent something I would like review that but today I just kind of went in and just like grabbed different stuff oh and then this is the YSL Touche Cloud Neutralizer in like the apricot shade so NARS Ginger by Terry Medium Peach and the YSL Apricot okay setting powder Charlotte Tilbury guys there is a huge possibility I will get rid of most of my powders there's just no this is just so good i picked up the darker shade um the spring app was doing 20 percent off if you purchase directly from the app yeah that makes sense so i picked up the dark shade and we'll see if i can use it as a bronzer because the way these powders are formulated are just so perfect so i use this on the under eyes and all over the face i had shared the pure soiree diaries with you last week and I talked about this a little bit this is the contour diaries and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on it's really pretty it blends out super super easy um, you have the shades secret passion and mystery so those are swatches secret passion and mystery 
and I used this as bronzer today all over the face and then I went in very lightly with this as a contour under the cheekbones and under the chin and then I blended these two together to contour the nose I know at this point in time Pure is of quite a popular brand but I still don't think they get enough love I love so many products from them they do so many excellent excellent products and for the longest time I just felt like their packaging was just like you know like it was so like left so much to be desired but recently I feel like in this year is when their packaging has really kind of taken like a different turn I mean look at this rose gold uh, print with a marble background so gorgeous right their powders are so nice it's not I don't particularly like their powder foundation because I'm not a powder foundation girl but any other products I've tried for them have been so good bronzers even their blushes are really good I just I'm not a blush person I love their like kind of creamy like highlights that they had in a palette I love their eye polishes I love the pure hydrogel lift like there's so many excellent excellent products in the line and I just I feel like they deserve so much more attention for highlight, I'm sure you've seen it. You can see my highlight today. It is so pretty, right? So pretty. It's the Stila highlighting palette. I mean, I guess this palette isn't available anymore. Hopefully they'll bring it back. It's so good, but um, you can get them in singles. I use this shade in the center. This is called Kitten. This is called Bronze. No, this is called Bronze and this is called Transcendent. They're all so pretty. It's this, I think anyone based on your preferences for highlighter can enjoy this because you can really pile it on and get something really full on and glam and like in your face or you can just run it through with a beauty blender like a beauty sponge and you can get like a very soft soft situation on the face so I have kitten on at first I applied it with my fingers and I thought it looked a little bit too mm, a little bit too I don't know like I my skin is pretty smooth but I mean everyone has bumps in random places right they might not be a blemish so then I went through and I like got some on a beauty sponge and I really tapped it in to make it look more um, just softer I mean just so pretty so I have it on the cheeks I have it down the nose you can probably see that oh other shimmer things I want to share with you Last week, I talked to you guys about the Kiko Summer 2.0 highlighting drops in Golden Shell. We went on full review mode there, but I use it again today. I just love using it. This is probably not going to get used in the winter. I could use it on my face, but I've just been obsessed with it for my body. So I mixed it in with the Kiehl's Creme de Cor, kind of for the arms today. I don't know if you can see. Maybe you'll see it later in like the car. But then I have it just by itself, like on the chest. And it just, your skin, it just makes your skin glow. Like... Like you eat well and you exercise and you drink a lot of water like it has that kind of vibe i absolutely love it and i'm just trying to use it up because i don't want to keep liquid products for too long i want to use it while it's still summer so i mean that's essentially what it looks like i mean isn't that just so pretty here highlighterless hand highlighter hand highlighter highlighted hand wow it's just so pretty and again, it's nothing you see until the light hits it. Once the light hits it, it's like, oh my god, she looks so good. Okay, for the eye makeup today, I have a new Ombre Black Star. Yes, yes. It is the shade in Black Pearl. And then a typical combo lately is MAC Feline in the Tight Line and MAC Costa Riche in the Waterline. For eyeshadow today, we have Makeup Geek. This is my Makeup Forever palette that I put my Makeup Geek ones in. We have Coco Berry, a little bit in the crease, mostly in the crease. And then we have Peach Smoothie under the brow. We have Steampunk, Smudge into the Top Lash Line. And then I use a combination of Ritzy and Havoc. So there's By Terry Bronze Moon as a heavy, no. I said bronze moon okay because I I'm dumb and I don't know how to not use that I have by Terry black pearl smudged into the top lid and lower lid this is what it looks like blended out this is a less it's not less pigmented but you know how bronze moon blends out and it looks exactly the same when black pearl blends out it's much more like glittery whereas I think bronze moon goes very high shimmer but this definitely you can see the glitter glitter particles in it Mac feline Mac Costa Riche 
This is Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear. This is essentially what is all over the lid. And then Peach Smoothie under the brow, Steampunk and the lash line. And then I have Ritzy mostly on the lid. And then on the outer lid and into the crease, I have Havoc. And then on the lower lash line, again, a combination of these two. And then I also brought Cocoa Bear under that too. So that's the look today. It's a little, it's cool and warm, I guess. Cocoa Bear is quite intense because I do like it and I brought it under the lower lash line. It's rather smudgy. My eye looks are never like precise and beautiful. They're always very like smudgy and you know, a little bit all over the place. But that's kind of what we did today. I felt motivated today to do something else with the eyes just because it's like bitch if you do one more warm smoky eye I know I get it and I feel like maybe you guys are thinking this but you guys are awesome and mature and you guys aren't like in the comments like wow you only do one eye look I probably really do I do one eye look I always do different shades but it ends up looking the same on camera so I decided to just do something slightly different still in my comfort zone but like different I talked about these brushes last week this is the Rodeal number 10. It's a larger one and then the Rodeal number 9. After using these for even longer, I still love them both so much, but I really, I am highly, highly recommending this number 9 to you, the smaller one. Lower lash line, on the lid, in the crease, blending out the outer V. Just when you shut your eye and you blend everything, because I love, again, a diffused look. My eye makeup is always very diffused. I don't like harsh lines. I just want it to look like, oh shh like a cloud of color, a fog of color. This brush, seriously, it is perfection. This is so good, so, so good. Eyeliner is the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen in the shade Deeper. That is what we use to do the eyeliner today. Okay, now, these lashes I wanna share with you. I only have a pair. These are the only pair I have, so I can't show them to you, but I get asked pretty often what my favorite like everyday lashes and I think this is now the one. It used to be the Kiss Sultry lashes because those were just the ones I really loved and then I feel like they changed the way they make them. Why am I, why am I standing like this, sitting like this? Sit properly, I'm like leaning forward and hunched into the camera. So those used to be my favorite lashes and these I picked up in New York when we had gone into like a CVS. And Andrew actually had like a list of things he wanted to get. I was looking for like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which I eventually found, which I'm kind of like whatever about right now. It's really great on false lashes though. I just don't think it looks good on my natural lashes. Aside, okay. These Andrea lashes, that's what they are. The Andrea 92 lash. They're so pretty and they're so soft and they look so naturally full. Um, they're double stacked and they have a curl to them. And I know those two elements make it sound like they're not natural looking, but they really are. They have one full layer of lashes and I feel like there's like, um, maybe like another like half layer that are like kind of like pushed in between that layer and then they like flare up. They're really, really pretty. I am going to look for these more. I tried to find them online and get like a really good deal on them because I think at full price, are they like five or six dollars? I'm just not someone that wants to spend five or six dollars on an everyday lash, even though I've made these last since I got back from New York. I mean, I don't wear them every single day, but I probably do wear them three or four times a week. And I'm just going to maybe save up my extra bucks and get them, but they're not at the CVS's by me. They're like, I don't know, it's like sporadic. I think they're sold at Ulta, so we'll see, but I'm gonna go on the record. The Andrea 92 is the new favorite holy grail everyday lash. Bottom Lash Mascara is the Maybelline Colossal Cat Eyes. I feel like I, I always forget to share this with you, but I really should. It has a curved brush, which means it really does a really good job of getting down on the lower lash line and getting in between the lashes. If you already have kind of medium to full, you'll love this. I can't see that you wouldn't. Um, and then for me, who doesn't have very many, I think it creates, it adds to the diffuse smoky eyeness of everything. This is probably, I have to say, this might be the most long running product in my makeup arsenal. If you were watching even like five years ago or even before that, I had to have been using this. And I know a lot of you guys have picked it up and have used it on your lower lash line too. Some of you guys who have more lashes definitely can enjoy it on the top lashes, but the curved brush is like everything. I, all the 
mascaras that I truly love have a curved brush. Um, the other is the Maybelline Lash Sensational and that also has a curved brush. Um, they're just like my favorite versions. They really help with lifting. The brows is the Glossier Boy Brow in brown. Me Benefit Precisely My Brow number six is the combo for the lips. Oh, this is the other thing I got in my Sephora haul. Okay. I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with both of these, but this is newer, so the obsession feels more intense. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Iconic Nude. That's what we have on the lips today. And then this, the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip. I have mine in the shade Caramelized. It's so pretty. I mean, look at this. That looked creepy. Did that look creepy? I was like looking at myself and I'm like, I have crazy eyes. You have your standard kind of rubbery, slightly matte packaging, and then you have a doe foot applicator. It smells so good. This one smells more kind of citrusy, but like sweet citrusy, really nice. That's Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury, and that is the shade Caramelized from Bite Beauty. I was trying to decide between Caramelized and I think Whip, I was looking at Temptalia's swatches because her swatches are holy grail. Um, and Whip and Caramelize looked really, really, really similar. Whip was just ever so slightly in like the cool tone. So I went with this color. I do not regret it. This is going to be one of those shades I can wear all year round. I mean, it's so pretty. It's like, it literally is like their cream lipsticks in liquid form but obviously as a liquid it's a little more movable so you ugh, it's so good i don't even out of everything i've shown you in this haul not this haul out of everything i showed you in this like makeup breakdown go on to sephora <laughs> look through the shades find one you like and just buy one these are so so good so good go get one it's so beautiful today guys it's like 80 but it's like, it's really bright, but also kind of, but it's like humid. But I really don't mind because I have like no clothing on, guys. It, I have like this thing that's like not really a bra. It's like lacy, but like it's like not really a bra, but it's like so comfortable. This thing, which is probably made of rayon, and then like, you know, a pair of harem pants, which are also made of rayon, which, favorite material. For those of you guys who hate heat, Rayon is like your best friend. <laughs> oh, guys, this bite beauty. Mm. The scent. This is the scent that I think is our favorite scent. Our favorite as in like, I think this is the same scent that, like the same mix that me and Andrew used when we made our lipstick at the beauty lab, at the bite beauty lab. <gasps> oh. I wonder if they'll start making lip glosses. That would be so awesome because you can already like custom make a lipstick. It'd be so awesome if you could custom make this gloss. Mm, I would get some like intense orangey peachy goodness. The Mew Mews because they're my favorite. Um, I feel even very blessed to have three pairs of these. And I believe I paid 80 for two of them because I got them from Nordstrom Rack. And I probably paid maybe a hundred, I want to say a hundred or 120 for the third pair. Um, but they're so good. Ooh. I think this very soft bra with like no cups and no underwire is like giving me weird boo, but I do not even care, whatever. We're sharing today's haul. Um, I went to Ulta because I wanted to look for these 91 lashes. No, these 92 lashes. I got three of these. Do you see how they are? Do you see the curl on the end? Very pretty. They only have three pairs of those, so I got a pair of 91s, which are a little longer and a little fuller. And I'd gone to Nordstrom Rack and I found these earrings. They were 10 bucks. So you have like this rhinestone situation you have a row of gold and a row of silver i guess very pretty from aldi we have arugula a spring mix this i've never had before it's a kale chopped salad 
That sounds really healthy, doesn't it? Four of the chunky guacamole. Again, if you guys have an Aldi Bayou, go get these. Like, it, there's like no preservatives. There's just avocados, tomatoes. Um, let's see, salt, red onion, onion, cilantro, lime juice, sea salt, jalapeno, peppers, garlic. Like, it's just such good ingredients in here. We have some mozzarella balls with seasoned, seasoning, seasoned, and then a plain one with nothing. Two dozen eggs and a box of honey grams. Who eats honey grams like it's a snack? Because I do. Okay, Trader Joe's parsnip chips. They uh, like sweet and salty, so pretty good, but not too salty. <sighs> I couldn't resist. Carrot cake cookies with the cream cheese frosting. The Body of Christ crackers for 99 cents each. This, very good, Andrew. I know you like licorice, like soft licorice. This is delicious. Let me show you. They're like this. They're very yummy. Popcorn with herbs and spices. I saw the version of this, like the Aldi version. I was going to get it, but I already gotten this. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, Aldi owns Trader Joe's. So you'll see a lot of similar products, but you know, supposedly with better ingredients at Trader Joe's. Quinoa and black bean tortilla chips. I really like these. The veggie and flaxseed tortilla chips. Carrot, tomato, spinach, garlic, red beet, and onion. I have some bananas. Finally, I got the ricotta and lemon zest ravioli. I have three of these. I was gonna get a ton, but I don't know. Maybe the next time I go to Trader Joe's, it'll still be there. Sweet corn burrata and basil ravioli. Oh, doesn't that combination sound so good? We have cherries, cold brew latte, uh, dessert bars. Costco does something like this that's like bigger and they're quite good. I think I'm going to Costco tomorrow, so maybe I'll get some. Corn dogs, our Indian trio of palak paneer, paneer tikka masala, and the aloo chat. Mexican roasted corn. This has like that cotilla cheese, and I don't know what else, but I saw the word cotilla cheese. <laughs> soy chorizo my sister was telling me about this she said that it's really good and i mean anything that tastes like sausage that isn't actually sausage i'm about that because sausage is so bad for you uh thai vegetable jiaozi. this is also something that my sister was telling me about good morning <clears throat> monday morning okay so today's workload will be significantly better uh, which is great. Um, I have half a day of at work and then I have a half day meeting. Guys, you see what my hair did today? I always, when I sleep, I put it up in like a little claw like this part just so there's some attempt at volume in the morning and today when I released it, I mean, doesn't it look pretty good? I wish I knew how to like recreate this hair with like tools but like this kind of like layout or layering situation only looks it looks like this maybe once every three months every six months something like that it's not something i'm very good at recreating um on my own <laughs> guys why am i watching degrassi as like real tv because there's like nothing else to watch tell me what you guys are watching i finished the latest seasons of being mary jane pretty good um Younger, which I really like. Um, Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce, which also okay. Guys, where is the next Sex in the City? Like, I don't know when we're gonna get that like all like female cast, that like super relatable show. I'm like, guys, when is it coming? Okay, sit like normal. Okay. Um, yeah. What else? Like I'm like on the regular, I'm watching like Master Chef, which I love. Um, casual. But like there's like nothing to binge watch. I finished Jane the Virgin maybe a month ago. Um I can't think of what else. Mm. I haven't caught up on any of the housewife shows. Maybe I'll do that. But that I can't watch on my TV. I have to like find it on the internet. I think Bravo has them though. Doesn't Bravo put them on their site? Okay, maybe I'll do that. But then I have to watch it like on my computer, which I don't know. I mean, I could connect it to my TV. 
um, Costco today. So that'll be exciting. Not exciting, but guys, there is like, <laughs> when I say that there has been just general neglect of me and my life and my home overall, I have two bottles of water. I have one roll of toilet paper. And who knows like what else I've just kind of been like not managing properly. I might have like no dish soap. No, I do. I do. I have like this much though in it though. Does CVS now monitor my exact purchases and give me coupons based on that? Because that's totally cool. We have $4 off Nip Fab products. We love Nip Fab. We've got 25% off Skin Fix, which we also love. $2 off Milani. Now, every time I go, I never see the spray, like the setting spray, never ever. Also, they've launched two new eyeshadow palettes, which are so my thing. So hopefully we see that. And then we have a four off 20. Good morning. So, oh, okay, I was gonna clearly talk about something, this. <laughs> Lipsticks. I was gonna review this yesterday, because I felt like I had a good handle on these, but I just wore another shade for the full day, and now I can give you a really good review. These are the Lancome Absolute Rouge lipsticks. I have three shades here. Here's Exotic Orchid. I wore this all day yesterday. This one's in French, but in English it would be called Impatient, and I wore this two days ago. And this last shade is like the namesake. It's just called Absolute Rouge. And I haven't worn this one yet all day because it's, um, red is not the easiest color for me to wear on a daily basis. Okay, let's talk about why this is so amazing. Um, first of all, the formula glides on. They say it's a cream finish, but to me, it feels like a gel. It's super, super lightweight. Like when I say it goes on creamy, I mean like, light as a feather creamy and you press it your lips into it it doesn't feel like there's anything on your lips this is exotic orchid i'm just gonna wear this one today i wore it yesterday and you know what the best part about these is the reapply game on these is legit like when you go to reapply this it layers on top of itself so well on top of being a very graceful wear off like if you eat or you're talking um, or for whatever reason just wears throughout the day it is a very like moisturizing formula it's not gonna like stick onto your lips also do you see how it has a very wide tip it's very very thin and tapered but it's wide so it makes it really easy to get into that area and that area there and there So it kind of lip lines your lips for you. So that's Exotic Orchid. Now, let's talk about this packaging because when I first opened this, I was like, this is stunning. You have a black cylindrical lacquer tube. It says Lancome at the bottom. You have a little gold uh, base where the color is named. And then on the top, you have your Lancome rose and what you do is you press that rose and then the lipstick comes out you have gold and then you have your product with Langholm imprinted on there and does it have the rose sometimes you get a little rose i love this packaging i know pat mcgrath came out with her lipsticks and she's also doing is it black and gold she has those gold lips on them which i think is fun but this is like classic glam this is like i'm not going to get sick of looking at this whenever you pull this out it's going to look so chic on top of it the formula when i say this is probably just like randomly moved up to like top formulas it's so lightweight it has pigment it layers on top of it self really well you can reapply later in the day and it doesn't look weird it's so smooth i actually feel like there's like i don't think these are sculpting lipsticks but it has like a very sculpting effect where just the way it i don't know if it's a combination of it moisturizing your lips and the formula but it sits on top of your lip lines really beautifully like i don't think they sink into them they just kind of sit on top of them and create this like very nice finish. Uh, the formula has this, I was reading about it, there's this 
ingredient called proxylane. I don't know if that, what that is, but the technology behind it makes your lips look really pretty. My only con is it does have like that traditional makeup kind of scent. And that's a preferential thing. I like by Terry, for example, a lot of their products are scented in that way. Lancome, they've kept this kind of traditional scent that they have for their lipsticks that I've never actually smelled a lipstick from Lancome that doesn't have this. But I'm just, I don't like the taste. I guess the smell, I guess it's a combination, right? Taste and smell, but formula, amazing packaging, amazing. Uh, scent is like a preference thing, so. I recommend this to you based on how it wears, what it looks like, and how it performs, absolutely. Definitely. And the formula is the same across the board. There was a red, and that kind of like orangey red, also, Impatient was the name of it. I wore that two days ago. First of all, it makes your skin look gorgeous if you're warm toned. And they just, I don't know. This is like one of the few lipsticks that layer really beautifully on top of itself. Like, I know like we love Bite Beauty lipsticks, those are fantastic, but they don't, they're a thicker formula. You know, they're very creamy. Whereas this, it's just very emollient, but not oily. Also, this is just like an aside, but don't you feel like a lot of brands similar to Lancome, like Estee Lauder or even Clinique, maybe not, as much but there's these brands that are traditionally targeting a specific demographic i.e ladies and gents who are older however i feel like lancome's approach to appealing to a broader age demographic has been more graceful than say i don't know like estee lauder Estee Lauder came out with the Estee Edit, which was like specifically targeted towards like teens and millennials, which is great, but for some reason it did not catch on. Clearly the Estee Edit is gonna be no more. And Clinique, they came out with a lot of these like baked formulas with like poppies imprinted on them and you know, blatantly like cute and fun. Whereas I feel like Lancome, they, kind of just went in and perfected their formulas. Like these lipsticks are amazing. They came out with these powder highlighters. Those juicy shakers and matte shakers, like those were kind of gimmicky looking, but they they perform. They look beautiful on the lips. But the liquid pencils, I love those. They kind of just went in and just like redid the formula on their eye pencils. Their lip pencils have always been great. So I'm not saying I know anything about why they did what they did. I just think as from a consumer standpoint, it seems to be more of a less obvious approach at appealing to like a wider audience. And like their ads haven't changed that much. Like they've got newer faces and younger faces, but they haven't like tried to be like overly young or hip. And they've come out with like cushion products, cushion primers, cushion foundations, cushion blushes. I feel like I might've seen a cushion highlighter. I don't know if they released it in the US, but Whatever, go Lancome. Okay, good morning. I am going to film a haul video. I know I haven't done any like non-vlog video in a while, but I wanted to give you guys a little preview in the vlog because I was gonna include it in the vlog, but that's just like making the vlog way too long unless I want to separate them into two vlogs, but then one vlog would just be the haul. So whatever, we're gonna call it a haul video. Bit of a preview. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I'm gonna show you guys stuff. Here's just a really cute preview. Look at these sandals. Are these not like a blatant a Valentino like knockoff, but they're so cute. It's like a jelly sandal that's clear with gold studs. Super cute. Okay, it is 7.30 in the morning and there is lawn stuff happening outside. New pair of sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses. Yes, so I will link the haul video in the description box or here. I don't know. Do I know how to do that? Am I that high tech? It's not high tech. I'm just really bad at trying to learn new things for my youtube channel okay so oh my god we need to wash our hair um hope you enjoy the whole video